All right, welcome back to the living room. We are about to get into episode seven of The Mandalorian, which I am praying is better than six. That was the worst episode of the series, in my opinion. And I don't feel we can get no more lower than that. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. All right, let's see what you got for me. Starting off with a gorgeous looking location. Oh, it's her. I hate her guts. Her death can't come fast enough on this show. I can't believe what she did to that doctor, man. Who was actually trying to do good. Who was actually repentant. And she mind flayed the shit out of him. Is this Moff? Because clearly Moff is still the baddie. We don't know who the goodie is. The top goodie, that is. In your last report, didn't you suggest that the New Republic would not be sending support? Magistrate Cargo was aided by Mandalorians. Yep. Which Mandalorians? You know which, bitch. Bo-Katan Kree's led a squadron of Mandalorians alongside Din Djarin and his covert. This cannot be. Yes, it is. Factions are sworn enemies. Which is why I contacted you with haste. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Finally? Took seven episodes to get here? Come on now. What the hell are these? What's in those tubes? We must be cautious. If we are perceived as anything other than a group of unorganized remnant warlords, the New Republic will increase their efforts to hunt us down. The Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will... Herald in the reemergence. Who the hell is Grand Admiral Thrawn? And provide Commandant. You always speak with much authority. And yet I see, once again, that Grand Admiral Thrawn is missing from your delegation. Huh. Any word on when he will be able to participate in the Shadow Council? Our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. Captain. Secrets are my stock in trade. Perhaps it's time we look to new leadership. Yeah, here. Damn. We already received your request. Three Praetorian guards. Sounds like someone is concerned about an assassination attempt. And he thinks I'm being the flashy one. And reinforcements for your TIE interceptor squadron. And what is your security concern? Mandalorians. Yep. I am increasingly confident that they are preparing to retake their home world of Mandalore. But a resurgent Mandalore would hamper our efforts. Which is why we need to stamp them out now. Yes. You'll have your reinforcements. We shall be rid of the Mandalorians once and for all. Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Ah, I feel good right now. We're finally getting to the actual fucking story. It only took seven episodes of an eight-episode season. He needs some kind of radar. First, that's a light cruiser, and second, it's not Imperial. For the power troops, according to my data, it is. No, no, it was an Imperial ship. Look at the markings. They are amassing a mighty fleet right now. We may actually get a hellified war. Now, how are these two going to meld? That's my concern. And what little they know of each other, they hate. They will if they want to survive. This is a hell of a squad, though. Like, you wouldn't want to wreck these guys. Agreed. Ah. 
Hellified! Anger! So tense. This is, this is extra tense right now. Is is the fucking robot finally put back together? Yeah, we needed him in episode one. <laughs> what? What did you do to IG eleven? No, oh, that's IG twelve now. The pilot provides cognition. Yes. What? You gonna put Grogu in there? Run for your life. It's more like a vehicle. Hmm? It's safer that way. For who? Bad baby. <laughs> Bad baby. Dead is very overprotective. If you have him in there and he's wielding this robot while using force on people, that's going to be devastating. Uh, so Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Maybe when he's older. No. What do you mean, no? No. I think he's saying he's old enough to operate it. Yes. This is not a good idea. Come on. Hey. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes, what? <laughs> He's a Daniel Bryan fan. No. Yes. Hey, Google no. Give it no. Oh. Is that one of them chicken babies? The little dragon thingies? There is so much distrust here. No one's sleeping at night. Send down a small recon party. We'll scout the surface, find out what remains of the Great Forge, and establish a safe perimeter. Sounds like a plausible plan. I need volunteers from both tribes. AKA, who's not a bitch? We all know Den's going. I will go. Grogu as well. I will go. You know you betrayed her to begin with. Some fucker. I will go. I don't trust him. I will go. See, I feel like he's going because he doesn't trust him either. I kind of had to feel like the episode was about to end. I find it quite insane that the Empire was able to just nuke a planet like this. If y'all can tell me, was them destroying Mandalore, was that shown in something? We'll lose Kong shortly. Clearly it's not in the movies, unless it's in episode three. It's worse than I thought. I was here when it happened. They're all just shaking their head. I know nothing but happened to Pax Vizsla. I've actually, just, um, even though he's a terrible father protecting his son, I still like his character. Even though I thought he was going to try to kill Den at first. Form up. Ah, I'm concerned about who's not making it out of here. What do y'all see?
What the hell? Are these pirates? What are these? Who the hell are these three? We knew you would not forsake us, Lady bo -Katan. We have failed you. But our blasters remain in your service. They punished us. It's a warning to the whole galaxy because we refused to surrender. Mm. I did surrender after our forces were annihilated in the night of a thousand tears and defeat was imminent I met with Moff Gideon the ISB had reached out to me to negotiate a ceasefire in exchange for submitting to the Empire and disarming all remaining cities in Mandalorian lives were to be spared mm. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the Darksaber. He didn't even win in combat. Him, but it was the only chance I had to save our people. Mm. And then he betrayed me, and we were helpless to resist the purge of Mantalor. Damn. He needs to die. And everyone deserves to get a piece of him. Our people have suffered time and again. From division and squabbling factions. Mandalore has always been too powerful for any enemy to defeat. Unless they do it from within. It is always our own division that destroys us. This is a great episode so far. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. Don't forget to also like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking about this episode. Because this one's way better than six. I had no idea. We were taught that everyone but us had forsaken the way. That you were selfish and uncaring. Now I understand. They lied on her so bad. You were right. Huh? I was selfish. And this is what it brought. I'm so curious for her full story. History. For thousands of years we have been on the verge of extinction. And for thousands of years we have survived. Okay. I only know of this weapon what you taught me. To be honest, it means nothing to me or my people. Nor does station or bloodline. Mm. What means more to me is honor. And loyalty. And character. These are the reasons I serve you, Lady Kreese. Your song is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. Still confused, so is she the Mandalorian now? Onward, Mandalorians! To the forge! I don't want to be suspicious of them, but things are going a little too well. These two. These are the two who are gonna fight. Like it's foretold. You can't move an enforcer like that. It's a flight job. And you're about to submit. These primitives make up their own rules for everything. Oh, no, here we go. Seriously? What type of blade is that? Submit or fight. What the? Why is it vibrating? I don't want that in me. Yes, it was. Pax, whoop his ass, yes. That's the only person who could step in, I guess. 
Because he hasn't taken the oath. You taught your apprentice well. You didn't learn that from me. Apprentice? Huh. The fact that I don't think I've ever heard Grogu be called Din's apprentice. That's interesting. Uh, helmet up! What the bloody hell is that? That fucking thing is huge! Is that the mythosaur? Holy! Yo, you Mandalorians got some crazy shit on y'all fighting. That's some crazy looking shot. I feel like. This is what's left of the Great Forge. This was once the heart of our civilization. Jetpacks. More survivors. A uh, shit ton. Mandalorians. Oh shit! Take cover. Oh shit! So they're completely bulletproof. We're pinned down. We need backup. I can make a run for the street and get us reinforcement. There's a split in the ceiling there. I'll lay down cover. Oh my god. No. Yes. Yes. Fuck. Oh, he broke his neck. I feel like she needs to pull out the fucking blade. Ooh. Are they? The fuck I'm talking about? Yes. Mmm. Ooh. This episode got me hyper and excited and. It was a trap. The Empire has a fucking base here? Oh my god. Fuck. Like, are we serious? Is that? Disarm him. <sighs> Thank you for gathering the Mandalorians into one place. Son you of a bitch. A talented people, but your time has passed. I want him dead However, so bad. I have created the next generation dark trooper suit, forged from Beskar alloy, <sighs> and the most impressive improvement. Fuck. Is that it has me in it. You, you see, think every society has something to offer. The cloners, the Jedi, and even the Mandalorians. By aggregating the best of each, I will create an army that will bring order to the galaxy. The purge of Mandalore will be complete. Take him to the debriefing room. 
Okay, so now I feel like Din is the Mandalorian again. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Bo Katan. We have to stop meeting like this. Can't the Darksaber sure cut through all this? Let's skip the pleasantry, shall we? I believe this is the part where you return the dark saber to its rightful. Now, surrender the dark saber and tell these people that this planet is mine. This is the way. Open the blast door. Kill them. We all know he ain't gonna stay and fight because he's really a bitch. Move out! Move out! Move out! Back. I'll cover the rear. I don't feel like Pax is gonna make it out of here, and that pisses me off. Don't have him left. Don't tell me we're losing Pax. We're not losing Pax, yo. And look how many he's taking out. Y'all are some bitches. Pax is wrecking y'all by his loan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real Mandalorian right here. Fucking great ape and shit. He took out all of y'all before he fucking fell. What the hell is that? Who are they? G. He's going out like a goddamn G. Pax didn't deserve this. Ah, Pax Vizsla was a beast. I was indifferent to him at the beginning, but God damn it, he was a beast. All right, so that was episode seven. That may have been one of the best episodes of the Mandalorian show. So I'm, I'm conflicted because episode six was so bad and episode seven is so good it's like, God damn, like, you've, you've almost saved the goddamn season for me with how good episode seven was. My only complaint is, why did it take so long to get here? We have one episode left. <sighs> but man, that was a good one. Uh, I'm, I'm really sad that we lost my boy Pax Vizsla. Um... Hopefully I'm saying his name right. That was my dude. Especially in this episode. I really started to like him in this episode. He irritated me a little bit when we lost his son. Um, I'm now curious. Who does his son grow up to be? Because he's... I don't know. How is he going to take the news that his dad is gone, man? But Den's captured... How's Grogu going to handle that? Like, episode 8 may have Grogu flip all the fucking way out, which I'm waiting for. Because I thought, I had a slight inkling that he may, like, force open the door, or, like, force the door to, like, fly back and they had to get out the way. I thought that potentially could happen. But, man, um, that, that was an awesome episode. Like, that for me... That was a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 and I reserve the right to change that later is for episode 8. Because I want to leave some room for episode 8 to, to breathe. Because if it picks up where this one left off and doesn't take its foot off the, off the gas and 
thoroughly goes through with everything, this is going to be an awesome episode. So um, I'm just waiting to get to that, man. Damn. Can't believe we lost Pax, man. I, I knew someone wasn't going to make it out of there, but I didn't think Pax was going to be the one to make sure everyone can get out. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense because he wasn't getting through that hole. She could have cut a big, like, start at the bottom and make a goddamn rectangle or something. What's up with this circle shit? You know, like, make it easy for everyone to get out of there. You know, so that, you know, that's my one complaint. You know, that's my one complaint. Bo could have made the goddamn hole bigger. You know, shit. Everybody wants to do this. Ah! How about just a, uh, huh? Huh? Uh. Walk through. Like a, like a fucking doorway. <laughs> but yeah, 9.5 out of 10. I'm really excited for episode 8. Hopefully they don't drop the ball because 7 did leaps and bounds and going in the right direction. But 8 has to land this motherfucker or it's going to be overall a failed season. So we'll see what they got. I'm excited to see what they do. And we'll see what happens next week on the during the season finale. Until then, Looney out.